If you've been looking for a video editor tool to help you create video content, to help you promote your digital products, or to create your online course, let me show you how to use Canva. Hey friends, it's Tisha, and I'm here to show you how to use the online tools to help you create and sell digital products. Now, I know when it comes to editing video, it can be very intimidating, and some video editing software out there is very complicated. Canva does have a built-in video editing tool to help you create video content such as short form videos for Instagram Reels or TikTok. And you can also create video content for long form videos to use for YouTube videos or online courses. And the best part about it, it is super easy, beginner friendly, and free to use. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer screen so I can show you how to use this tool. To get started, you will need a Canva account. If you currently do not have a Canva account, you can sign up for free. I will leave a link down below in the description to help you get started. Once you sign in, it's going to bring you to your dashboard and you want to scroll over to the video icon to get started with video editing. Okay, so Canva offers a few options to help you get started. You can start with a video template to create the type of video that you want to create, or you can start from scratch using a video size template. You can create a long form video using the video landscape option. This video size is best for YouTube videos or creating your online courses. This ratio size is 1920 by 1080. You can also use it to create different short form videos, again, for Instagram Reels or TikTok. You can select either of these options. All of these short form video options have the ratio of 1080 by 1920. Now for this tutorial, I am going to use the video landscape option. Just keep in mind that the editing tools are the exact same. I'm just using a different ratio size, okay? Once you have selected your size that you want to start with, you just click on that size and it's going to open up the Canva editor. Once you've selected your video size, it's going to bring you into the Canva editor. There's a couple of things that I want to show you before we get started. Here on the bottom is your timeline. This is where your video clips will appear. On the left, this is our side menu bar. This is where we can find any templates or elements that we want to add to our video. And here at the top is our top toolbar. This is where we can name our video. And this is how we're going to share our video. Okay, now the first step is to add your video content to Canva. So you want to go over to the left and select upload, upload file, and find the video that you want to upload. Once your video has been uploaded to Canva, you simply want to just click on your video to add it to the Canva editor. Once it's been added, you would notice that it does not completely fill the page. To do that, you can drag out your corners of your video to fit the page or you can right click and set the video as the background so first let's go over our editing tools once you've added your video to canva you will notice that a video toolbar will appear at the top and your video clip will be added to the bottom which is your video timeline okay so starting with the toolbar you have some editing options that will help you if enhance your video we will go over those options a little bit more towards the end let me close this out of the way you have the option to trim your video you have background remover which is only available with canva pro and anything that you see with the little icon is only available with canva pro so remember that if you are using a free account next we have some audio tools you can extract your audio if that's something that you want to do so if you extract the audio it's going to have a audio time bar here at the bottom of your video. Once you do that, you will see that there is a toolbar that appears for the audio, which allows you to basically um, edit the audio if that's something that you want to do. Let's just undo that. Now you can also adjust the volume of your video. Let me go ahead and mute it for the sake of this tutorial. And then you can also change the video speed. So it's something that you wanted to make it faster or slower, that is something that you can do. You have the option to crop your video and you have the option to flip your video if that's something that you want to do. And a few of these other options we're gonna talk about a little bit later. Now, when it comes to editing your video, you have the option to trim, 
split and delete your video so starting with trimming there's two ways that you can do that if you at the top here on your toolbar you're going to click this icon with the scissors and it shows your time of your video when you're trimming the video you can either trim off the beginning or the end of the video and you can do that simply by gliding over the arrow to the area that you want to trim off or where you want it to start depending on if you're trimming off the beginning if you're trimming off the end you will do the same but just move it to the portion that you are trying to trim off once you trimmed off the part of the video that you don't want you just hit done and now your video is now trimmed okay you have the same option here at the bottom of your timeline by again moving your arrow back and forth to the area of your video of that you want to trim off. So now let's talk about splitting your video, okay? When you wanna split your video, you want to, you see this little arrow that I'm moving back and forth along my timeline? What you want to do if you wanna split the video, you want to move that to the place in the video that you want to split right click and click split page in canva it's called split page but this is how you create multiple clips within your video now you see that we turn one video into two video clips okay this is also helpful if you are trying to delete a portion of your video you're going to move this line to the beginning of the section of the video that you want to delete and then once you make that split you want to then move that same line to end of that particular section that you want to delete right click hit split page then make sure that you select the clip that you want to delete you know that it's selected because it's going to be highlighted in purple and then you want to click on these three dots and then you want to select delete page and it's going to delete that clip okay so that is how you can delete a section of your video if you have another video that you want to add into your current video that you have in the editor make sure that you have your arrow selected where you want to add that page you can add it between your current pages or your current clips and you can click add page or you can go to the end of your current clip and click add page and then add your video let me move this out of the way because we don't need it you can also create transitions between your clips to find your transition menu you want to go between your clips and right underneath the plus sign you have this other option when it's going to pop up and it's going to say add transitions you want to click on that and canva has a, a lot of cool ways that you can add transitions to your video you simply just can hover over each one to decide which one that you like once you find one that you like you simply click on it and it will give you some additional options with that particular transition you can usually adjust the timing of it and adjust the direction of how you want that transition to be um, just keep in mind that transitions can either add to your video or take away from your video so don't go overboard with the transitions so let's move this out of the way okay so now let me show you how you can add b-roll and overlays to your video so let's start with b-roll b-roll basically is video or images that help with storytelling of your video and it sits on top of the main clip of your video so you have your video that you want to add you can upload a video that you already have or you can go over to the side menu here and click on elements and then you can click on the videos and see all canva does have some great b-roll stock library that you can choose from and add to your video um again just keep in mind anything that you see with a crown logo is only available with the pro account once you find the video that you want to add you simply just click on it and you see it's going to sit on top of your video and then you do just simply do the same thing we did in the beginning and drag it out to the corners and as you can see now that particular video is going to sit on top of that video clip all right let's just delete this and get it out of the way now you can also add 
text overlays and graphics with Canva. So you can simply click on the text icon and you can add a text box. So you can add your own text and put whatever it is that you want to add. And once you add your text, your text toolbar will appear here at the top. So you can change the color of your text. You can change the font style of your text as well. And you can add your text anywhere on your video screen that you see fit. Another cool option with your text is that you can actually animate your text. So you can go to your text toolbar, click on animate and the animation toolbar will appear and you have different options on how you can animate your text on on your video you can simply choose how you want it to appear on your video okay you also have the option for uh, almost like a transition like type of way if you want it to enter your video a certain way you can do that as well now if you wanted to add any graphics you want to go to elements and search for whatever type of graphic that you want to add let's just search for something Instagram and just click on the icon or the graphic that you want to use and then you simply just move it to the area of the video that you want to have it you can scale it up or down it is up to you once you have it scaled if you wanted to edit it even more there is also a the graphic toolbar is going to appear at the top but allow you to do a little bit more editing um, you also can animate your graphics you click on animate it has a different animations that you can and choose from it's just up to you that's the way that you can add some movement into your videos okay you can also add additional audio to your video you can go down to your timeline and click on audio underneath your video clips okay so the different type of audios that you can add you can add um you can generate a ai voice you can add some background music you can add some sound effects it is up to you of what you want to add um just keep in mind that a lot of the audio is only available with the canva pro account and in my opinion if you're planning to create and sell digital products canva is worth the investment and if you've been thinking about starting your own digital product business Business, my digital CEO roadmap ebook helps you figure out your digital product idea, help you choose the right tools, and help you set up your online store. I'll drop the link in the description if you want to check it out. Now, once you find something that you like, you can simply just click on it and it's going to add it here at the bottom and once it adds it you will be able to see it here and then also at the top like I kind of showed you in the beginning it does have its own toolbar where you can adjust the sound you can adjust the volume and you can also adjust the fade uh, if that's something that you want to do and you can also do a beat sync now if you don't want that audio you can simply just hit delete okay so now I want to show you some bonus editing tips or editing options that you can do with Canva. Remember in the beginning, I showed you this editing button here on the editing toolbar. If you click on that, if you click on adjust, then you have the option to play around with the brightness and contrast of your video, basically allowing you to color correct your video. You have some other options. You create highlights. It has filters that you can choose from if you wanted to add different filters to your video. Earlier, I showed you the video playback speed you can create a loop if you want to create a video loop where a play on repeat so at the end of the video it's going to automatically start over you can turn that on and the other option i want to show you is the background remover you can remove the background from your video if you have the Canva Pro account. Now, depending on the size of the video clip, this could take a little while to do. And once it's complete, you will see that the background has been completely removed. If you wanted to add a different background, you can go over here to your side menu to the element option and you can just simply search for a office background or whatever type of background that you want um, we're going to go to photos and then select one right click and it adds it to the background i just thought this was a fun option and wanted to show you this option after you've edited your video next is sharing your video before you export your video you want to make sure you go to the top here and rename your video to whatever video title that you want to name it. If you want to take a preview look of, at your video before you download it or share it, you have the option to do that by clicking this button here. And once you click on the video or on that button, it's going to give you a playback of your video that you edited. 
okay once you're done you can hit close to go back to the editor and once you're ready to share your video you want to go to the top right and click on share canva does have several options for you to share your video the most common way is to download it and you can download it as a video file directly to your computer you have the option to change the quality of the video the standard format is 1080p if you are trying to download in 4k you have the option to scale this up to 4k but that is a canva pro option you have the option to download your pages or your video clips separately and then if you, once you're ready to download you just click on download and it's going to download what you have selected so you can download it as a whole video or you can download it as multiple clips okay and i want to show you some other options you have to share your video you can have a public view link and it will host it in canva and you can share that link with anybody who you want to view your video if you click on see all you can also download to your social media this is more if you have if you're creating a short form video content so that is how you can share your video that you edited with canva okay friends so that is how you use canva video editor if you found this video to be super helpful let me know by hitting the like button as always leave your comments and questions down below and if you want to learn more on how you can create your very own online course make sure to check out the video that's on your screen as always guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye